So for the past several years, I've really been on this journey to ground myself spiritually, emotionally, physically, relationally. And as someone who loves to read, I have also been on a journey to find books that kind of help me and guide me along this practice, along with a number of resources that I'm privileged enough to have access to. Books have really been helpful for me in this process. And as a black woman, I have found that sometimes a lot of the books that are about healing or spiritual, emotional grounding don't really always take into account the breadth of experiences that people from different backgrounds have. They don't always take into account that there are systems and institutions that are actively working against our healing, that are actively traumatizing us. I have found that the authors of the books that I'm about to share with you in the guidance that they're offering us also comes forth a really grounded analysis around what it, it means to be spiritually grounded, emotionally grounded, what it means to heal, what it means to set healthy boundaries, what it means to be in deeper relationship with the people around us. And I'm really grateful that I found all of these books. I feel like the list is actually a lot longer than the books that I have here in front of me. But these are the books that most immediately came to mind when I think about, you know, what have the books that have and will continue to be um, really helpful tools for me in my own journey. So let's get into it. The first book that I want to talk about is What It Takes to Heal, How Transforming Ourselves Can Change the World by Prentice Hemphill. This book actually just came out June 4th, but I was lucky enough to receive an advanced copy of the book, and it was in its PDF format. And just to put into perspective how good this book really is, I knew a physical copy was coming, but when I had the PDF in front of me on my desktop, I could not stop reading it. My back hurt, I got a headache, I actually missed a really important call because <laughs> I didn't even realize what time it was. That's how good this book is. Prentice is a therapist, an embodiment and somatics practitioner. They are a movement worker and they have an organization called the Embodiment Institute and I really encourage everyone to go check that out. But this book is the first book in a really long time that really gave me like the spark, the aha moment, the light bulb went off. So often I think in this culture, in the society that we're all existing in, when we think about wellness, especially in this influencer era, like when we think about wellness so often, wellness is so highly individual and when i think about this book and why it was so transformative and life affirming for me is that there's a lot of conversation about healing and there's a lot of conversation about wellness and the responsibility of healing is often put on the individual and to some degree i guess sure but prentice offers the perspective that healing happens in community healing happens in relationship that trauma is political and it really just for me helped me undo a lot of the programming that that version that highly individualistic version of healing has given me and given so many of us prentice also talks about how we really can't reckon with what it means to heal if we're not also reckoning with the systems and institutions and the realities that are actively traumatizing us <laughs> Prentice also has a quote that some of you may have heard that boundaries are the distance at which I can love me and you at the same time. And that is actually a really perfect segue into the next book that I have that I want to talk about, which is Find Boundaries, Set Peace, A Guide to Reclaim Yourself by Nedra Glover Tawab. And this book was actually recommended to me by my therapist, which could probably be another series in and of itself, books recommended to me by my therapist. I've been in therapy since I was 17 in college, um, and I've had a ton of books recommended to me by therapists, some that were super helpful, some that were less helpful. This was a helpful one. This was a really helpful book. I am someone, just for context, who I can like intellectually and cognitively grasp most concepts. I understand why boundaries are important. I understand what Prentice said, that boundaries are the distance at which I can love me and you at the same time. But I am so up here and I am not 
in my body, I'm not feeling enough. It's really difficult sometimes for me to put these kind of, you know, to put theory into practice. This book offers really practical ways where you can start implementing boundaries, when you can start thinking about boundaries in such a way where they help your relationships grow, they help you be in deeper and more expansive relationship with the people that you love, and how boundaries are really good for both you and the people that you love. I've often struggled with this idea that boundaries were going to push the people that I loved away, um, but I didn't realize that I was pushing my own needs away, that I wasn't really listening to myself. And it's still something I'm really struggling with and I'm trying to put into practice more, um, but this this is a really helpful tool. It really helped me reframe what boundaries are and why they're so important if you want to be in deeper relationship with the people around you. I highly recommend this book. I feel like I don't have to say too much about All About Love um, by Bell Hooks. This is what I will say. In my work, there's often a question that comes up that we, that we ask each other, like, what guides your political practice? A lot of people will say centering the most impacted. A lot of people will say it's their ability to vision a new world. For me, and a lot of people I know too, will say being guided by a love ethic grounds my political practice. In all that I do, I do my very best to lead with a love ethic. Bell Hooks in this book really offers a, a new way to think about love, to think about love as a verb. How do we put love into action interpersonally, politically, socially? This is such an important book. I read this book a long time ago and then I was asked to read it again when I first accepted a role at the Dream Defenders. The Dream Defenders is a civil rights slash like base build, black base building organization at the time based in Florida, now they're national. And I was asked to read this book again and I've read it several times since. Th this book is really my North Star in so many ways. Again, it's so necessary, it's so important, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Lastly, I have Black Liturgies by Cole Arthur Riley. I've talked about this book a lot on my TikTok. This is the only book that has moved me to absolute puffy face tears, in a good way, in a good way. It is so incredibly moving and it is beautiful. Black liturgies, prayers, poems, and meditations for staying human. I, Whenever I'm talking about this book, I like to explain to people how it's structured. So again, it's a collection of prayers, poems, and meditations for staying human. So the first part of the book is part one by story. So Cole gives us a number of different topics like dignity, belonging, fear, rage, love, mortality, repair, and justice. And within each of those topics, you're going to get letters, poetry, uh, reflections uh, by Cole herself, which is so beautifully moving and powerful. But she also offers reflections and poetry, etc., from some of the most profound and prolific writers. Um, from you know before our time and of our time and it's just so beautiful chapter on love oh my gosh I go back and read that all the time and then you have part two by time Cole gives us different moments on the calendar Good Friday Juneteenth home going Mother's Day Father's Day Advent Kwanzaa Ash Wednesday you get all of these different moments on the calendar or time of day um, and it, you get the same thing, prayers, poetry, reflections, meditation. It, this is just so beautiful. I always tell people that this, it, this stays on my nightstand because I come back to this and find what I need in the moment in, in those times where I feel like I need, to, I need some grounding, in those moments where I feel like my heart rate is beating a little bit too fast and I need to slow down. That's what this book is for me. And since reading this book, I have been pouring into my journal, pouring into my journal. I also feel like this book has brought me closer to God. This book has grounded me and I cannot recommend this book enough. Please go buy this book. Please, 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 please. Um, I have it linked in my bio actually. It's just, again, this is like my nightstand book. I keep this close by at all times. But these are my recommendations. I really hope that you go pick some of them up. I hope that something that I said resonates and 
um, sparked your curiosity. If you've read any of these books, I'm really curious to hear what you think about them. Um, and if you have any book recommendations that you feel fits into this category that I've named here, I'm really curious to hear what they are. I would love to read them. Yeah, if you are on your spiritual healing journey, I think that these books are so necessary, they're so important, and they've been such a guiding force for me, and I'm gonna probably be rereading all of them for ever. So, yeah, thanks for watching.